This video is on the chain rule, and this is an opening one. There will be several parts to it. The chain rule is when we are taking the derivative of something in the form of f of g of x. That means that there is a function inside of another function. And the rule says that we take the derivative of the outside, don't change the inside, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. Let's do an example. So in our first example, dy dx, we're looking at the outside function. And if we think of this as just x, then the outside function is like x to the fourth power. Well, the derivative of x to the fourth power would be 4x cubed. This is where we don't change the inside. But then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which in this case would be 6x minus 2. You can leave it like this, or sometimes they will multiply the 4 times the 6x minus 2. That's your choice. In example 2, dy dx is equal to the outside function would be x to the fifth power. So the derivative of x to the fifth would be 5x to the fourth. Don't change the inside. So 4x cubed minus 6x squared. And then we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside. In this case, that would be 12x squared minus 12x. A third example, dy dx is equal to, well, now our outside function is the square root function. And we've memorized that the derivative of the square root function is 1 over 2 root x. So we start with the derivative of the outside, 1 over 2 root. Don't change the inside. 2x cubed minus 4x squared. And now we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which would be 6x squared minus 8x. In this particular problem, uh, we can do a little canceling with the 2 and the 6x squared minus 8x. So I would probably reduce that. And on the top, I would have 3x squared minus 4x. On the bottom, root 2x cubed minus 4x squared. Our fourth and final example, dy dx. Again, we have a root function. So the derivative of the outside would be 1 over 2 root. Don't change the inside. Multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is 20x cubed minus 3. In this case, we can't really do any reducing. I would move the 20x cubed minus 3 into the numerator to root 5x to the fourth minus 3x would be our final answer. 